Antisense Therapy, Wikipedia Article Audio Antisense therapy is a form of treatment for genetic disorders or infections. When the genetic sequence of a particular gene is known to be causative of a particular disease, it is possible to synthesize a strand of nucleic acid that will bind to the messenger RNA produced by that gene and inactivate it, effectively turning that gene off. This is because mRNA has to be single-stranded for it to be translated. Alternatively, the strand might be targeted to bind a splicing site on pre-mRNA and modify the exon content of an mRNA. This synthesized nucleic acid is termed an antisense oligonucleotide because its base sequence is complementary to the gene's messenger RNA, which is called the sense sequence. Example Antisense Therapies Cancer Antisense oligonucleotides have been researched as potential drugs for diseases such as cancers, diabetes, amyotrophic lateral sclerosis, Duchenne muscular dystrophy, spinal muscular atrophy, ataxia telangiectasia, and diseases such as asthma, arthritis and pouchitis with an inflammatory component. As of 2016, several antisense drugs have been approved by the U.S. Food and Drug Administration, fomiversin as a treatment for cytomegalovirus retinitis. Mipomersin for homozygous familial hypercholesterolemia, Iteplersin for Duchenne muscular dystrophy, and Nasinersin for spinal muscular atrophy. As of 2012, some 40 antisense oligonucleotides and CERNAs were in clinical trials, including over 20 in advanced clinical trials. Also in 2006, German physicians reported on a dose escalation study for the compound Armed Forces Pacific 12009 in patients with high-grade gliomas. At the time of the report, the median overall survival had not been obtained and the authors hinted at a potential cure. Fomiversin was approved by the U.S. FDA in August 1998 as a treatment for cytomegalovirus retinitis. In January 2013 Mipomersin was approved by the FDA for the treatment of homozygous familial hypercholesterolemia. Cytomegalovirus retinitis In early 2006, scientists studying the Ebola hemorrhagic fever virus at Uzam Riot announced a 75% recovery rate after infecting four rhesus monkeys and then treating them with an antisense morpholino drug developed by Sarepta Therapeutics, a U.S. biotechnology firm. The usual mortality rate for monkeys infected with Ebola virus is 100%. In late 2008, Avi Biopharma successfully filed investigational new drug applications with the FDA for its two lead products for Marburg and Ebola viruses. These drugs, Avi 6002 and Avi 6003 are novel analogues based on Avi's PMO antisense chemistry in which antiviral potency is enhanced by the addition of positively charged components to the morpholino oligomer chain. Preclinical results of AVI 6002 and AVI 6003 demonstrated reproducible and high rates of survival in non-human primates challenged with a lethal infection of the Ebola and Marburg viruses, respectively. Starting in 2004, researchers in the U.S. have been conducting research on using antisense technology to combat HIV. Familial hypercholesterolemia In February 2010 researchers reported success in reducing HIV viral load using patient T-cells which had been harvested, modified with an RNA antisense strand to the HIV viral envelope protein, and reinfused into the patient during a planned lapse in retroviral drug therapy. In 2004 development of an antisense therapy for spinal muscular atrophy was started. 
Over the following years, an antisense oligonucleotide later named Nasinersen was developed by Ionis Pharmaceuticals under a licensing agreement with Biogen. In December 2016, Nasinersen received regulatory approval from FDA for use to treat spinal muscular atrophy. In September 2016, Iteplersen received FDA approval for the treatment of Duchenne muscular dystrophy. Hemorrhagic Fever Viruses Volanesersen is in Phase 3 clinical trials for treating hypertriglyceridemia as of December 2016. HIV AIDS because nucleases that cleave the phosphodiester linkage in DNA are expressed in almost every cell, unmodified DNA molecules are generally degraded before they reach their targets. Therefore, antisense drug candidate molecules are generally modified during the drug discovery phase of their development. Additionally, most targets of antisense are located inside cells and getting nucleic acids across cell membranes is also difficult. Therefore, most clinical candidates have modified DNA backbones, or the nucleobase or sugar moieties of the nucleotides are altered. Additionally, other molecules may be conjugated to antisense molecules in order to improve their ability to target certain cells or to cross barriers like cell membranes or the blood-brain barrier. Spinal muscular atrophy Duchenne muscular dystrophy Hypertriglyceridemia Delivery